Welcome back, everybody. It's Ali, your embodied leadership coach. And for my dance teachers, I'm really answering the question of how do you maintain energy in a classroom with low numbers? I put a poll on my Instagram about a week ago, uh, just asking, like, do you keep the same amount of consistent energy when you have low classes? And I got a little bit of uh, up and down feedback. Some people said, absolutely. Other people were like, I find it really challenging. And so I asked if you wanted a video and this is it. Um, all I'm gonna ask to start is, what is the story that you make up when you have low numbers? What is the story that you make up when you find out, you walk into your class, you notice that you have low numbers? When I ask what story you make up, and if you don't know what that means, all I'm gonna ask is to ask you to do is just close your eyes, take a deep breath in, and then ask yourself, what does it mean if you have low numbers? The first thing that comes to your mind is the answer to the story that I make up. And the second question I have is, are you making this about you? Or are you making it about your students? The third question that I want to ask is, who are you blaming? What are you blaming? Are you blaming yourself? Are you blaming the studio? Are you blaming the industry? Because if you are blaming someone for this situation, it means that you are in what's called victim consciousness. And when we are in victim consciousness, we are actually closed off to new perspectives, learning, growth. When we are blaming someone, it means that we have blocked the opportunity for the lesson to come through. And so, by asking ourselves what story we're making up, we are taking responsibility over our experience. We're asking ourselves, what is this situation teaching me? It could be anything from, I'm not a good enough teacher. I'm not what people want to see. My students don't like my classes. I'm not good enough. Um, I, I am not experienced enough. I need more certifications. It could be a number of things. You could be blaming a number of people, but this therefore contributes to the energy that you are exerting when you have low numbers. And as teachers, we are in full servitude to our students. And when we make up stories and then identify with them, what we are actually doing is we're making it about us when it really should not be about us. Because if we are in full servitude to our students, then we are not identifying or attaching with the stories we're making up in our head because then we're making it about us. And so what would it mean to when you have low numbers, taking a few deep breaths and, and noticing the stories that are coming up and then observing them because they're there, letting them go and then being as present as you can with the people in the room who that might be the only opportunity in their day to be seen by someone. It could be the opportunity that they need to exercise their creativity and their innovation. Maybe they're trying to hit fitness goals. Maybe it's a New Year's resolution. And all of a sudden, you're making it about you and you're in your own mess and you're in your own story when you could be focusing on what is going to be the best for my students and how can I be in full service to them? And so when we say it's hard for me to maintain my energy, is it because you're making up stories in your mind about what this means about you and you're identifying with them and you're attaching them and then you're allowing this to impact your mood and your energy? And then, then you're projecting that energy onto your students and then they feel that and then they don't really want to contribute as much as, you know, if you were totally present and there for them and excited regardless of how many people they are in the room. People feel that energy. So what would it mean to be honest with yourself? Maybe even be honest with your students. Maybe what, what what's getting in the way of you you actually communicating like, oh my gosh, guys, like, there is this story that's going on in my mind right now, which is like, I'm not good enough to be a teacher because I don't have these numbers. And I'm just, 
I'm just voicing it and I'm putting it out there because I know it's 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 not true because you're here and I'm here and if we're even if there's three of us I get to be in full service to you and you get to actually you know be in my energy which I'm so excited about and I've created this awesome piece for you today what would that mean how do you think that would impact the energy of a dance room or any space if we just call out the stories, if we speak into existence the things that, you know, are holding us back and just letting them go, allowing them to like their energy to flow through. I don't know if this is helpful. It's not as easy as like, ah, oh, just like, you know, let it go. It, you know, it, it's not, it's not that easy. It's being able to observe the stories in our minds to then best show up in our most authentic integral versions of ourselves and maybe what's coming up is this studio is not for me and maybe you keep going back to the same studio with low numbers which actually is it out of integrity integrity for you and maybe you're blaming yourself because you keep repeating your same mistakes as long as we ask why there is a multitude of reasons why we are in this position and we just get to be curious and ask ourselves like what is the story that I'm making up what is what is true for me right now what is going to be my most honest move how can I be in full service to my students and how can I be the most authentic version of myself mm. this might seem really deep it's because it is. We get to observe what is happening in our experience to show up the most authentically. If you want more of what we're talking about, if you're a dance teacher and you have low numbers, you're not sure why, you don't know how, you don't know what's going on, you want more money, more abundance, more jobs, more opportunities, more excitement, joy, freedom, please get in touch. This is what I do. I support people just like you to understand themselves and to be more embodied across all areas of your life. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments below and uh, thanks for watching.